Hi, Jeff Gear from Common Folk Self Reliance. Winter has set in. The sub zero temperatures are here and it's cold. Uh, some people are snugged up warm in their beds and uh, in their houses, and uh, uh, not us, <laughs> not me, and uh, not some of my friends. I get asked all the time uh, when you guys go out in the wilderness in this kind of cold weather, uh, what do you take with you to keep warm? Um, and there are a lot of different answers that we give depending on what we use. But then people go to stores and they come back and say, oh no, I can't afford that down system or I can't afford uh, uh, that expensive uh, synthetic system. I can't blow three, four, five, seven hundred dollars on that kind of thing just for a, a recreational activity. And I say that's probably a good idea. Um, so when we talk about affordably, play, affordably priced uh, systems, for people to take in sub-zero weather, I always try to steer them towards the MMSS or the uh, Military Modular Sleep System. Um, the U.S. Army came up with this uh, to keep their troops warm in cold weather. Uh, it's also a four-season bag, which is important because if you go out and pop out $400 on a Wiggy system to keep warm in sub-zero temperatures, that's it. That's what you have it for. It's there for when you're uh, when you're cold and when you try to use it in the heat. It just sits hanging in your closet, no use to anybody. Um, these are relatively easy to find. Uh, most surpluses have them. Um, you can get them on eBay. You can find them, you know, um, all over the place. I got this one for eighty dollars at a gun show. Now that's an incredibly low price for unissued. The guy had a pallet of them, and I wish I had bought them all. Um, it's a four-piece system. Uh, it's important to note that one of the four pieces is a compression sack. This has various straps on it, and what you'll do is you'll stuff everything in here, and you're going to apply pressure downward as you cinch the straps tight and squeeze it to get it as small as you can. I've got mine about as small as a basketball. Now, this will get small enough to fit in what they call the CPF 90 uh, uh, Marine Field Pack. Okay, and uh, that's another piece of equipment we'll go over in another day. All right, so once you reach down in your bag, you're going to find this Gore-Tex bivy. That's correct. It is actual Gore-Tex, the manufacturer. Um, this is in woodland camo. They also have this in a digital pixelated camo. This is a semi-breathable. They say breathable. Really, Gore-Tex is about semi-breathable. And when it gets cold, it's even less breathable. Uh, this is a, a breathable cover that is absolutely waterproof. Now. When you're inside of this and you're breathing and you're producing warm body heat inside the bag, that's going to condense. And the reason you want a bivy in the cold weather is so the ice, the frost, the moisture condenses on the inside of your bivy and not down on your insulation, not on your pilot. So a bivy is always a good thing to have. I've taken this out in the rain and I've slept in a mud puddle in it. Okay? It can get a little claustrophobic, guys, so you can always Keep this open a little bit, especially if it's not raining. If you're smart, you'll be underneath a uh, tarp shelter or some other kind of shelter. We're going to take this out of the way. And what you're going to find, what you're going to put inside the bivy is a two-bag system. Okay, there's snaps and zippers to snap this all in. I have these two bags snapped together. Now if you look, you're going to see a green black bag and a black bag. The green bag is a lightweight patrol bag made of ripstop nylon filled with polyester fill. And this temperature rating alone will take you, you know, keep you warm at 50 to 35 degrees Fahrenheit. So when I say three season bag, I'm not kidding. You've got a tent and you've got a regular sleeping bag here. It's actually quite spacious down at the bottom, but for great big tall people, I'd, uh, I'd check it out before I purchased one. Inside, you're going to find the black bag. It's the intermediate cold weather bag. Now, this bag on its own is good at about 35 degrees down to negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit. All right? And when you snap them all together, the claim is that this will reach or keep you comfortable or at least, you know, livable at down at negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, now, there's also talk by soldiers that they would take their whoopee or poncho liner in the bag with them, or I've heard of wool blankets going in the bag with them if you have room to pack such a thing, and actually sleeping down at negative 40. I've also popped a couple of hot hands heaters, thrown them in the feet, went up here in the chest and slept comfortable all night long with no fire. 
It's important to note that none of this is fire resistant. So if you sleep too close to your fire, you're gonna get little pinholes or maybe even bigger burns. So you need to sleep a ways away from your fire and you need to make sure that there's cover over you so embers, embers don't land on you. Um, this is really designed not to be near a fire, but man, if you're, you're like me, I'm gonna have a fire somewhere nearby. Um, now the thing is kind of bulky and it's kind of heavy. When you get it all pushed down in this stuff set, it's gonna weigh about 10 pounds. So if you're gonna go out in the winter time and you're gonna trek with a sled, my suggestion is carry it in a sled. If not, I'd look into one of the CPF 90 marine field packs. It fits in the bottom there. They also make another kind of carry bag for these that straps to other backpacks, but I find it a little unwieldy. The price now on these, I see these on army surplus sites at places like General Jim's and Coleman's, anywhere from $120 to $160. Believe it or not, the digital camo actually runs a little more. It may be a newer issue. And that's for unissued, unused, good shape bags. You can buy them used a lot cheaper. I've even seen the bivvies go by themselves, uh, slightly damaged for $10. I, I always keep a bivvy around, it's always great to have. So, like I said, I found this at a gun show for around 80 bucks. So that just goes to show that there's stuff out there made for the common working stiff to be able to go out and afford and use anytime they want. If you want to keep it in your hunting truck, you want to keep it in your cabin, you want to keep it in your camper, you want to keep one in your vehicle if you live in the Northlands and you're afraid of a breakdown, you've got a little something to keep you warm. All right, I'm Jeff Gear from Common Folk Self-Alliance. Safe journeys.